Hi beauties, I had a few beauties request to see this video in full length. My number one is my gorgeous friend Sylvania. So I am posting this video up in full length. So it's a long one, but I hope you beauties enjoy. And if you haven't yet subscribed to my channel, subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. We're almost to a thousand subscribers and then I will be giving away the Valentino cordless e-foul with the rose gold handpiece. So enjoy the video beauties. You will see me go in with the Glitter Planet C pinching um, tool. I just do this so the sides of the tip of the nail tip adhere to my natural nail. So just a quick little pinch and a quick little tip. Also, before I started this video, I pushed back my cuticles and removed all shine off of my natural tips, as well as I used um, my uh, bit, and I always do this, I just lightly, lightly roughen up the well area on the nail. That way it just sticks so good to your natural nail. So I just lightly, like I said, with a little pointed tip, use my um, e-file and I lightly rough in the well area of the tip. This really helps it adhere to natural nails so well.
Once I'm done applying all my tips, I just lightly go in and apply a little tiny bit of glue to the outside of the tip just in case there's any little air bubbles or any areas that I miss. So um, just one dip of the glue brush typically does um, one entire hand of nails and this tip really helps a lot as I do not have any issues with breakage or tips falling off. So I hope this tip helps you beauties out too. I am now going off I put with the Easy Off Mandrel Bit by Glitter Planet. Oh my goodness, this bit is absolutely amazing. I'm using the 100 um, sanding bands and I used to fight taking sanding bands off of the mandrel bit. These just pop right off on all my sets I like to remove all of the shine as I feel as if it helps um, the product whether it be acrylic or gel adhere to the nail better plus I kind of touch up the sides and give it a little light shape as well but I always remove the shine on all of um, my sets when using nail tips Also beauties, another little tip. I am using feather-like motion when using my bits. So there is no heat, no pain. You should always be using feather-like motion. If you're having to apply pressure, then it's time for a new bits. Bits go bad just like files go bad. So Definitely you or your client should not be feeling any heat or pain when using your e-file. Um, use very gentle feather-like motions. I'm hardly applying any pressure whatsoever. And um, there should never be a burning feeling at all. It should be completely painless. I'm now just going in and dusting off all of that powder with the stunning Ombre Large Dust Brush from Glitter Planet. Remember beauties, when ordering any products from Glitter Planet, you can use my code Garcia5 and it will give you a savings on all of your orders. I am now using the No Lift Nail Primer. This primer is amazing. Um, I always go in with one coat of primer and you just want to put it on the natural nail. Do not put it on the skin. Um, and I just do one coat of this. And this can be purchased at your local beauty store or you can find it on Amazon. It is the No Lift Nail Primer. It's a phenomenal primer and I have used a lot. And then after I use this one coat of nail primer. I'm going to go in with my magic gold is what I call it, but the bond by Young Nails. And with the bond, I will go in with two coats of bond. Um, I do this on all of my sets and um, I never have any lifting or popping off of the nails as they say so it's one coat of primer two coats of bond 
and the bond by young nails is absolutely amazing and a must have This is the stunning new monomer dish by Glitter Planet. They have two different styles and this is the newest one they came out with. She is absolutely gorgeous. I am going to, since I'm doing a gel set, um, what's filled in it is um, gel residue solution. And I'm going to use my absolute favorite stick by Magic, by Magic, by Glitter Planet called the number four cleanup brush. Um, I absolutely love this brush. I use it not only when I'm doing sets like this, but when I'm sculpting my gel sets as well. It is an amazing brush and a must have. I'm going to be using the Cordless Pro Nail Lamp by Glitter Planet. Oh my goodness, this lamp is absolutely amazing. It comes in the purple pink chrome, as such as this one, or you can get it in white, and it holds its charge time so amazingly. Plus, it has a magnetic bottom, so it's perfect for pedicures or when you want to do um, quick set cures. Um, it's absolutely amazing. And this is by Glitter Planet, the Pro Lamp. This is the base gel by Young Nails, which um, I will be applying to every single nail. You always want to apply your base gel coat down first and then pop into the lamp for 30 seconds before you apply um, any concealer gel, sculpt gel, um, and Young Nails is my go-to for gels. Um, they also have their products in um, the gel applicator tube, which I do end up using because I'm going to use the color blush, um, but it's the same product that comes in the tubes. They just have a couple different colors in the gel applicator tubes. And the nice thing about the gel applicator tubes is you're not wasting any gel product as you're not wiping off gel off your brush. You're using the tube, which you will see later in this video, to apply the concealer blush, which I will be using in just swirly-like motions. And um, then I just use my gel brush to kind of clean up and then also blend out a little of the gel as I want the glitter to be on glass tips. I do do two full coverage nails though with it. So you will see, but um, yes, Young Nails has amazing gel products. And as I've said, they are my go-to for sculpting gels, concealer gels, and their glossy is absolutely phenomenal. Their glossy is similar to as if you were applying an clear acrylic top coat, you would still buffer out and then apply your shiny no wipe, but 
yeah babes i hope you're enjoying the video Here I am just showing you how the container sizes that they do come in. Um, this is a concealer peach, um, but I'm showing you different sizes that you can order these in. But as I said, I end up using their gel applicator. That is um, the peach, but I end up using the blush and the gel applicator too. But I just wanted to show you the different size bottles that they come in. This is a gel applicator tube. I am obsessed with these, love them. And, um, but I also like using, as you can see, my jar was almost empty. I do love using them out of the container as well. We will be going with the concealer blush. She's a stunner. It takes a little bit of getting used to, but when you use the applicator tube, you just gently squeeze, um, very gently squeeze the product and apply it in kind of like swirly like motions, almost as if you were using your brush. And then always hold your nail tip down as you do not want to flood your cuticles. But these are perfect for creating v-shaped um round shape i mean it's they're amazing and as you can see i'm not wasting any gel product because i'm not wiping any gel off of the brush but i am holding my nail down and i'm just um it's kind of hard because i'm trying to show you in the camera but i will go in and touch up the sides where i noticed that i missed a little bit um but i'm just literally barely squeezing sometimes not even squeezing and just gently moving the product where i want it to go i use the cleanup brush just to kind of blend it down and then into the lamp for 30 seconds she goes And yes, beauties, I do pinch my gel sets as well. Just a slight pinch while they're warm onto the sides. It just helps the gel adhere to the sides of the nail better. And it gives it a nice, smooth, thin um, shape. I do this on both acrylic and gel. Saves you filing time. Plus it helps the gel adhere to the sides of the nail better. The way I'm applying the gel right now is how I would do it if I was not on camera, meaning I hold my finger down and I'm seeing clearly every part of the nail. So um, this is how I would typically do it. So I wanted to show you, um, for those who have this applicator tube, you want the nail pointed towards you, pointed down, so you don't miss any areas and even have to use the cleanup brush to get those areas that you missed. <laughs> 
So I hope this tip helps. Now I'm just gathering all my little triangle trays and the glitters that I'll be using. I love these triangle trays as I use them for glitters, my Sobarski crystals. Um, it just helps me be a little bit more creative. So that's what I'm doing right now. It's a little glitter mix I already have put together. And we'll just go with it. Oh my goodness, beauties, if you do not have laser lights in your life, she is a must have. She is one of my favorite glitters from Glitter Planet, along with Princess. There are so many glitters on their site, but laser lights, Princess Fine Glitter goes on almost all of my sets. They're just stunning glitters.
This is Diamond Dust by Young Nails, another phenomenal glitter. Young Nails in their imagination, um, I think it's under Imagination Designs, has some really beautiful fine glitters. And Diamond Dust is one of my favorites. Oh, look at there's Princess. Yes, yes, yes. I'd love me some Princess Beauties. So now I'm going to adhere a very thin layer of base gel where I want the glitters to adhere to. I'm only going to apply the base gel where I want the glitters to adhere to. And then I will use my gel brush and slightly get it wet with the gel residue solution to pick up the glitters. And then I'll just pop them in the lamp for 30 seconds but make sure you only apply the base gel where you want the glitters to adhere to. And just nice and thin. The nail that I did full coverage with the blush, I am fully putting base gel on the entire nail because I am going to be sprinkling her with Diamond Dust and Princess to give her that extra sparkle. When applying mermaid flakes and the chunkier glitters to the nail, just make sure they're laying down nice and flat as when you go to encapsulate them, you wanna make sure that you don't have any lumps or bumps. And um, so just make sure that your chunkier glitters are laying down nice and flat. Right now I'm going in with mermaid flakes. She's so beautiful.
Now I'm going in with the metal nail file by Glitter Planet with the 100 grit. I absolutely love this nail file. It is nice and firm. It cuts your filing time in half. And oh my goodness, just shapes them up beautifully. And when you're all done with the grit, you just rip it off and put on a new one. It, this is a definite must have. They come in the 100 grit stickers, 180 grit stickers, and 150. But I always use these, whether sculpting or doing tips, to touch my nails up before I encapsulate them. They are absolutely another must-have beauties. And remember, when ordering from Glitter Planet, you can use my code GARCIA5 for savings at discount, at savings at checkout, and if you have not yet subscribed to my channel, I would absolutely love for you to subscribe to my channel. As I mentioned earlier, once we reach 1,000 subscribers, it will be time for another amazing giveaway. You will notice as I'm filing my nails, I'm gently using one of my fingers to hold the tip of the nail. That's just for, um, you know, a little bit maybe out of habit when I'm sculpting sets just to apply light pressure for my other nail to hold it nice and steady but um, I hope you are enjoying this video beauties and once we encapsulate we'll be adding some Savarsky crystals to the thumbs Now I'm going to encapsulate the nails with glossy gel by Young Nails. 
This would be if you're doing acrylic nails, like your clear acrylic, you're just encapsulating the nails. And then I will put them in the lamp for 60 seconds, buff them out, and then add on our crystals and then our shiny no white top coat. One thing you will see me do as I'm adding on the glossy, once I put them in the lamp, is run my finger across to make sure they're nice and smooth. That way I know I've encapsulated all of the, the glitters. One of my favorite parts is choosing which Savarsky crystals I'm going to use. And this time I decided just to apply it to my thumb area as I wanted the glitters to really stand out on the other fingers. So yes beauties, this is how I apply my Savarsky crystals. I dump them in the tray as it makes it easier to pick them up. And I use the... Um, two-in-one daily charm pin gel and I use the pin part of it to apply my gems now if they were bigger crystals I would use a different glue but since these are pretty small crystals I'm just gonna use the daily charms um, pin applicator and which I typically use for my smaller crystals and to seal around my larger crystals which I do have videos on that so be sure to check them out This pretty crystal picker upper I purchased from the palace. She is absolutely phenomenal. Um, and I used the wax end to pick up the crystals and the pointy end to move the crystals where I want them. And this is from the palace. Check out her products. They, she has some amazing salon nail essentials as well as glitters and tips and all kinds of goodies.
I cure my stones in the lamp just for 30 seconds because I'm going to be applying the Nail Mate No White Shiny Gel Top Coat to the nail. Um, I never apply the top coat over the crystals as I do not want it to take away from the Savarsky shine. And this set just turns out absolutely gorgeous. I'm going to top it off with the new cuticle scent, Strawberry by Glitter Planet, and reveal the final look at the end. Remember, beauties, never lose your sparkle. Thank you for all of your love and support. And if you have not yet subscribed, I would love for you to subscribe to my channel as um, to enter the giveaway, you must be subscribed. And once we reach a thousand, we will be giving away the Valentino cordless e-file with the rose gold hand piece. Thank you for all of your love and support, beauties. Mwah, mwah, mwah.
Dream. 